him on it. We need to get to the hospital right now. And we need to lose the paparazzi. The baby's coming. We don't have time for this. Robert, Stacy, just a picture, please. Robert, drive faster. I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, we made it. Congratulations, you guys. It's a healthy baby boy. What should we name him? I think we should name him Andy. This is the happiest moment of my life. Don't you mean the happiest moments in the world's life? These pictures are going to be worth a fortune. The world's most famous celebrity baby. Robert, tell me, how do you feel exactly right now? How does it feel? Feels like I want some privacy. Get out. Quick, one last picture. Ready or not, here I come. All right, now where would they be? Aha, I found you, Cameron. Oh man, I thought this was a good spot. Well, think again. <laughs> Let's go find Kyle. Do you see him anywhere? Yeah, I do. There he is. <laughs> oh, Andy. Just call me the hide-and-seek champion. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it first. Andy Pendleton is the hide-and-seek champion. Oh no, not again. Andy, I don't want to play with you anymore. You always get chased by these guys. Yeah, they never leave us alone. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Come on, Cameron. Go hang out somewhere else. Man. Oh, he's so sad. Come on, look at the camera. We need pictures of you crying. You monster. Leave my son alone. Oh my gosh, Stacy Pendleton. Looks as though your son has no friends. Tell us, how does that make you feel? Very angry. No pictures, no comment. Come on, Andy. Let's go home. Hey guys, thanks so much for coming. Hope you guys have fun. Make sure you eat as many snacks as you can. Oh, there's Cameron and Kyle. Better go say what's up. This party sucks. Yeah, I know. But have you seen Andy? He's walking around thinking he's so cool. People only like him because he's rich and he has celebrity parents. He hasn't even like done anything. He's famous for nothing. But being friends with a celebrity definitely has its perks. Yeah, I'm getting like thousands of followers a day. All we need to do is keep hanging out with him. Then soon we'll be rich and famous. Famous too. He just depends on his parents to do everything for him. What? I thought those guys were my friends. They're just using me? You know what? I'm gonna prove them wrong. I bet you that I can be just as famous as my parents and do it all by myself. Hey, Dad, can we talk? Yeah, sure thing. What's up, kiddo? Did you have fun at your party? Well, yeah, sure. It was great and all, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to know how you and Mom got famous. How we got famous? I'm an action movie star, and your mother's a lifestyle influencer. What are you talking about? You know this. No, but, like, how did you guys get started? I think there's stuff that I want to do, too, and I wanted to know what you think. Come on a second. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, how's my favorite agent, huh? Dad, I'm trying to talk to you. No, 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 no. I need you to reschedule that interview. Stacy and I are going out to dinner with Brad Pitts and his wife, Angelina Mole. Yes, yes, I know. Huge celebrities. Dad, please. We were having a conversation. Hold on a second. Look, Andy, I don't have time for this, all right? Take some money and uh, go buy yourself a new Tesla. I don't care. What? Seriously? You're just going to throw money at me? Whatever. I'm going to my room. Ooh, I hope the new issue of Super Dude is out. Wait, is that Cameron and Kyle? What are they doing? <laughs> Kyle, look at this idiot. He's like 18 years old and he still reads comic books. Yeah, what are you, some kind of big baby? Who even are you guys? We're like big celebrities. Yeah, friends of Andy Pendleton. You probably heard of him. Honestly, why are we talking to this poor loser? You're pathetic and this stupid store is pathetic too. Hey, stop talking to him like that. You need to be nicer to this guy. It's not weird for people to read comic books. I read comics all the time. Yeah, yeah, we totally knew that. Yeah, man, they're just playing around, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you for one second. Why don't you guys get lost and use somebody else for their wealth and fame, not me. What does that mean? It means that you guys suck and we're not friends anymore. Come on, Cameron, let's get out of here. We don't need this loser. Sorry about them. Are you doing okay? Yeah, no, it's fine. Thanks for getting them out of here. They come in and just pick on me all the time. Well, I'll make sure they don't bother you anymore. Hey, wait a second. You're Andy Pendleton, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. I see you come in here all the time. Are you a big comic book fan too? Absolutely. Dude, I would honestly love to just hang out here all day long. You probably have the best job ever. Yeah, it is kind of fun. Say, would you actually want a job here? Wait, really? You'd give me a job? Yeah, my manager said he's going to start looking for someone else. You should fill an application. I'll put in a good word for you. You know what? I'll do it. Tanner, this is him, huh? Yeah, this is Andy Pendleton. He wants a job here. You're a huge celebrity. Why would you want to work at this little comic shop? Well, there's stuff that I want to do too, instead of just being rich and famous because of my parents. You said that we could use the extra help. And plus, he really likes comic books. I think he'd be a great fit for the team. Tanner, who cares? Andy is a huge celebrity. This is going to be great for our store. You've got the job. 
So it's officially been your first full week. What do you think of the job so far? I love it. I'm having so much fun. And on my breaks, I've been trying my hand at drawing my own comic books. Really? No way. Let me see it. Well, it's my first one. I don't know if the artwork's the best. Are you kidding? This looks so cool. I love it. Really? Yo, hey, is that a new comic? I've never seen it before. Yeah, actually, this is Andy's. He made it himself. Whoa, this is awesome. Hey, do you think I could buy this? Buy it? It's not really for sale. I mean, I was just drawing it for fun. You don't understand. This is amazing. Like, this comic is so different than the usual comics. Hey, hey, what's going on over here? Just so you know, your employee is a prodigy in the making. This comic that he made is amazing. What? Let me see that. Unauthorized comic sales are not allowed in this store. Yo, this is actually pretty good. The writing is good, too. Andy, if you make more of those, I'm sure we could sell them in the store. That would be so incredible. Maybe this could be a way for me to get famous. Dad, Dad, you'll never guess what happened. Oh, wait, let me guess. Someone wants you to be in another movie. No, that's not it at all. Dad, I made this comic, and the guys at the store thought I should write some more and maybe start selling them. Seriously, Andy, a comic? Yeah, Dad, a comic. What's wrong with that? You should check it out for yourself. Look, Andy, this is great and all, but I need you to come to a fan meet and greet with me tonight. A fan meet and greet? Why do I have to go? Well, according to our agent, the public needs to see you more. You've been hiding for like a whole week now. Yeah, because I've been working. You don't need to work. You're a celebrity kid. Sure, I don't need to work, but I'm having fun. Plus, those things are always about just you and mom. You don't really need me there. Andy, you are going to that event, and that's final. <sighs> Whatever. Sure, Dad. I'll go. Excellent. And wear something nice. Make sure your hair doesn't look like a mess. You know what? No matter what my dad says, I am going to make a name for myself. Can I just have one more photo, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on, Andy, smile. Andy, what's wrong? It looks like you're not having any fun. Because I'm not having fun. Again, these people are all just here for you guys. Andy, you need to stop being such a stick in the mud. Well, if you're not having any fun, then why don't you go talk to all the other celebrity kids? That might not be a bad idea. So, who are you guys? What's your guys' names? I'm Chip Wesley. My dad is Wes Wesley, country music star. And my name's Brian Jones. You know, the Jones family. We're kind of a big deal, you know. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's nice to meet you guys. Brian, did you see how many locks our post just got? Yeah, we're gonna be even more famous now. <laughs> and what is the deal with the catering at this place, huh? There's no mac and cheese, just salads and sandwiches? It sucks. Don't they know our dietary restrictions? I need soda right now. Hey, you, why don't you go get us a soda or something? Yeah, just stand on there looking stupid. <laughs> uh, no thanks. It was nice meeting you guys, I guess. There's no way that I want my life to be like this. Whoa, why are there so many people around the comic book store? Tanner, what's going on? All these people are here to see you, dude. Here to see me? What are you talking about? I don't know, but they all keep asking for your comic book. Wait, seriously? They're here for that? Yo, hey, Andy. Oh, Max, what's up? Why are there so many people here? Well, I told them about your comic. They all really want to see what it's about. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So you're the reason why everyone's here? Well, sort of. I run a big comic blog online, so let's just say people all over the world know about this already. This is insane. All these people are here to buy my comic. Well, the man at the cell phone emporium is furious at me. This crowd has blocked people from going into his store. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I knew it was a mistake hiring you. A mistake? No, it wasn't. You seemed pretty excited about it before. Yeah, well, now things have changed. If more people keep showing up, all these people in here, it's over capacity. I could get fined. I can't have this in my store. Everyone causing a commotion over some big stupid celebrity. You gotta go. I've gotta go? What do you mean I've gotta go? It means you can't work here anymore. You're fired. And Tanner, get rid of these comic books. We're not selling that trash anymore. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Pendleton has been fired from his one and only job. Not only that, but he caused a scene down in a comic book shop, causing the manager to completely shut down the store. Honestly, I don't understand why celebrities try to be normal people. It never works out. And now the news is commenting on this? Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Help, please, somebody help me. Shut up, get back here. Is that Tanner's voice? What is he doing here? Stop running, loser. This is private property. No porns is allowed. Ugh, leave me alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. He's my friend. What? You don't have friends? Yeah, I do. You're the one that doesn't have friends. Shut up! So what? Why don't you do another security lap around the property or something? This is my friend Tanner, and he's allowed to be here. Yeah, fine. Whatever. It must be nice to have friends. Sorry about that. My dad just hired him. He's kind of crazy. What are you doing here? I wanted to come by and tell you. I actually ended up quitting. You quit? Why'd you do that? Because that manager's a total jerk, dude. Plus, you are super talented. You don't need to work at that comic book store to be famous. 
famous, you can do it all on your own. What are you talking about? What if you and I started a comic book business together? I mean, you make the comic books, I'll get the place to sell it. I think it could really work. Honestly, I love that idea. Let's do it. Thank you so much for coming to the launch of the store today. I'll be signing my new comic all day long. We'll get this event started in just a minute. Dude, there are so many people here. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's really great so far. Dude, I know you better than that. What is wrong? I sent out an invite to my dad. He's not here. He's probably off filming some movie or walking a red carpet somewhere. I don't think it's that. I think that he thinks there's better things to do than supporting his own son. Oh, come on, Andy. You can't think like that. He barely talks to me to begin with. Why shouldn't I think like this? And whenever I try to spend time with him, he always just throws money at me. He's just never there. Oh, I'm really sorry, Andy. I'm sure he still loves you. At the end of the day, he is still your dad. Yeah, well, my dad wants me to be something that I'm not. I think it's about time that I started living the way I want to. All right, I think that's the last box. And now I'm about to go to my new apartment and start my new life. Hey, Andy, what's with all this? Where are you going? I'm moving out. I'm done living your guys' famous life. It's time that I live the way that I want to live. You're going to give up fame and fortune and living in a mansion to go be a comic book writer? Yeah, Dad, because it makes me happy. You've never even thought once to ask me if I was. I just figured you'd be happy. Everyone wants to be famous. I invited you to my comic signing. You didn't even show up. If you really cared, you'd support me whatever I wanted to do. Don't leave, all right? Just put those boxes back inside and we'll order some sushi from that famous restaurant you like. No, Dad. I think it's best if I go. I'm gonna go live my own life. <laughs> oh, darling, look at our son. He's so beautiful. I think he's gonna be so big and strong. He's gonna be the strongest athlete ever. I mean, I've already beaten some world records, but I think he's got a couple he can beat as well. Yes, he's going to be so handsome, but he's going to be a super athlete and a super model. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Well, you two, all the tests came back, and it seems as though your child is absolutely perfect. It's crazy. He's kind of breaking records already. I mean, his temperature is literally picture perfect. Yeah, we could have guessed that. He does come from perfect parents. <laughs> Not to mention extremely wealthy and famous. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cool. I'm actually a really big fan of both of you. Oh, how sweet. Would you like an autograph? Oh, I, I don't think that would be professional. <laughs> Maybe later. But hey, either way, you two are really lucky to have a great kid. I bet he's going to have a great life. He's going to have a better than great life. I mean, look at his parents. Yeah, look at us. We're practically perfect. This is going to be the most famous baby ever. Come on, babe, I want to sign him up for the football team. They have like a super tiny little league team that he can play in. Um, no, darling, that's not going to work. He has a photo shoot. Uh, we're trying to build him into a child star. The kid's already been on the cover of 10 magazines now at this point. Little Cole is already better than basically everyone in this town. Mom, Dad, can I just play with my toys today? I don't really feel like playing football or taking pictures. Cole, we already had this planned out for like weeks, okay? I'm gonna sign you up for football. No, we're not playing with toys today, remember? We're not gonna mess up our fingernails because we're gonna have a lot of close-ups. Oh, okay, fine, I guess so. Well, it's my first day here. I hope I can make some new friends. This teddy bear is my favorite. I wonder if the other kids will like him too. Whoa, you look familiar. Yeah, wait a second. Aren't you that super famous kid? Uh, yeah, I guess so. My parents are kind of celebrities. Oh my gosh. You're like the most famous kid in Brookhaven. Dude, no way. We should like totally hang out sometime. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, I'd like you to meet Mr. Buttons. He's my favorite teddy bear. Yeah, that's cool. Then tell me, do you live in like the world's biggest house? Um, yeah, my house is kind of big, I guess. Whoa, dude, that's so cool. Does your dad drive a cool car? I think he has some kind of Porsche or something, he said. I don't remember. My dad has a lot of cars. Dude, no way. You definitely got to show us sometime. Yeah, sure thing. Hey, guys, how's it going? Oh, yeah, hey, Cole. Not much. We're just, uh, you know, planning out the party for this weekend. Oh, yeah, dude. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait. Thanks for hosting this, man. Wh what? What? What part are you talking about? Well, you said your parents were going away for the weekend on some big fancy trip, so we figured we'd throw a party at your house. Don't you guys think you should have asked me first? 
Oh, come on, man. Everyone knows you're the most popular, cool, most famous kid in school. We've got to throw the party at your house. It only makes sense. Yeah, come on. Don't be so lame. Let's do it. All right. Sh sure, that sounds cool. Yeah, so I was thinking I would have everybody over. We gotta have all the snacks possible. I mean, I'm talking every flavor of chip. Nacho cheese, sour cream and onion, maybe even salt and vinegar. Uh, dude, salt and vinegar is gross. That's not a move. Well, I kind of like those chips. No, salt and vinegar's out. That's it. And you think you can pay for our lunches too, dude? Yeah, I, I guess so, sure. Oh, wow, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure. N no problem. So besides the party, what do you guys want to do this weekend? I was thinking maybe we could go to the park and play baseball or something? Oh man, did you see that YouTube video the other night? That was so funny. Oh, dude, dude, that one with the cat and they're flying in space. Oh, dude, that was so funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was ridiculous. Guys, did you hear anything I said? Wait, what? Cole, you were talking to us? I was trying to, but never mind. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Um, can I talk to you for a minute? Honey, one second. Just posting this selfie real quick. And posted. What is it? Yo, what's going on, little guy? You look sad. Well, yeah, I've been feeling down lately. Um, I just feel like a lot of the people I meet are just using me. Using you? Whatever are you talking about? Well, it seems as though all the kids at school just care about talking about how much money I have and how famous I am, and they don't really even get to know who I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole, listen, you're going to have to deal with that for the rest of your life, dude. It just comes with the territory of being famous, okay? Feel lucky. Feel blessed. No, I do feel really lucky, and it's great and everything, but I just wish I could just meet some real people, you know? Someone that just wants to get to know me and... Yeah, 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 that's cool and everything. Great. Listen, dude, I still have a couple more sets to do, so... I'm gonna go do that. Sorry you're feeling down, but like, just snap out of it. Honey, don't worry about it, okay? Just put it out of your mind. I have to go. I'm late for a fitting. Well, thanks for listening. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, great. See you later, dude. Oh man, I'm gonna be late. Oh! Oh hey, I'm so sorry for bumping into you. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm new here and I'm kind of lost I'm trying to find my classes. Oh, really? No way. Well, um, I could show you to class if you'd like. Oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be so great. You sure you don't mind? Yeah, no, not at all. So you're new here, huh? Yeah, just moved here last week, so still trying to get acclimated with everything. Oh, that's great. And this might sound weird, but you don't have any idea who I am? Um, no. Should I? Oh, no, no, just don't worry about it. Uh, kind of a weird question. Say, um, would you be interested in maybe hanging out sometime? Oh, wow, yeah, that'd be great. I don't really have any friends yet, so I'd love to. Oh, this will be perfect, yeah. We'll go hang out at the Hub or something later on after school. Um, I'll talk to you after class? Yeah, sounds good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you, too. Oh, man, that movie was actually really funny, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. I liked it a lot. Yeah, and I can't believe Officer Rufus just fell out of that tree like that. Shane Plays 2 has some of the craziest videos, don't you think? Yeah, for sure. He's definitely my favorite. So speaking of favorite, um, I'm kind of hungry. What do you say? Should we get something to eat? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. What do you think about mm, pizza? I like pizza. Pizza's great. But it all depends on what toppings you put on it. Ooh, let's see. I like pepperoni, um, definitely extra cheese. Uh, what about you? Well, I like that too. Pepperoni is probably my favorite. Hey, Cole, <laughs> Cole, over here. Cole, just a picture real quick. Um, what, what is going on? Oh man, I totally forgot to tell you about this. I had no idea this was gonna happen. Cole, please, please, real quick. Just a quick little picture, please. No, why don't you guys just leave me alone? Cole, you are such a jerk. I can't believe you would just leave Tessa like that at the hub the other night. Leave it to Cole, freaking out over paparazzi yet again. I just wish they would leave me alone and let me live my normal life. But like mom and dad always says, it's just part of being famous or whatever. I'm glad that she actually agreed to meet me here so I could properly apologize to her. I was having such a great time. I wonder if she's already here. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's funny. I mean, we had a pretty good time, I guess. He's, you know, fine. <laughs> but obviously, I'm just using him because of who he is. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, why else would you hang out with Cole other than the fact that he's freaking famous? So, I mean, <laughs> duh. I don't think he knows that, which is good. Wow, I can't believe it. She's just using me because I'm famous? Of course she is. Just like everyone else. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so sorry. And you dropped your ice cream? Oh man. Uh, it's alright, dude. No, really, I'm so sorry. How about I buy you another one? Deal. I appreciate it. Why don't we hang out? Yeah, sure thing. Oh wow, dude, I can't believe you're a big Minecraft fan just like I am. Yeah, duh, it's like my favorite game. Wow, that's really cool. And hey, thanks for like, hanging out and talking to me for a while. Yeah, of course, it's no problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just really kind of used to people just wanting to talk about my parents and how much money they make and which celebrities I've met and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I actually realized I didn't even ask what your name is. I'm Jason, and everyone knows who you are in the town. I didn't have to ask your name but none of that really matters to me. Really? You're not just gonna be friends with me because I'm some cool, famous celebrity type or whatever? It seems like what, that's what everyone else is doing. No, are you ridiculous? I'm gonna be your friend because you're a cool Minecraft playing guy like me. Yeah, that's really cool. Say, maybe we can um, hang out over the weekend and play Minecraft together. I can show you some cool spots I have on my server. Dude, no way. Let's do it, I'm down. All right, awesome, yeah, I built this sick castle. You won't believe it. Mom, Dad, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure, son, what's up? Well, I know you both want certain things for me in my life. Dad, I know you want me to be some crazy athlete, and Mom, I know you think I'm the most handsome boy on the planet, and you want me to be a supermodel, but the thing is, I don't want any of that. I just want to live a normal life, you know? Darling, normal? What are you talking about? There's practically nothing normal about you. You're extraordinary. Yeah, Mom, you have to say that because I'm your son and all, but I don't really think you guys are listening to what I'm saying. I was born into fame, okay? I didn't have a choice like you guys. This isn't really something I want. I don't want to get chased down by paparazzi and ask for autographs all the time. I just want to be a normal people and make normal relationships with people. Wow, son, I'm sorry. I didn't really even think that, you know? I just assume everyone wants to be rich and famous. Yes, so did I. I love being rich and famous. I guess I never thought about it that way. We love you. And we want you to be happy, so if you don't want to be famous anymore, that's your choice. Wow, you guys are really listening to me for once. What do you mean listening to you for once? We listen to you all the time. We just wanted the best for you, that's all. Yes, darling, that's all we've ever wanted, is to give you the best life possible. Whatever that means for you. We support it. Wow. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate it. Twins Ricky and James were born to be famous, but their fame came with a price that neither of them were ready for. Oh my god, I, I can't believe it. Twins? I know, isn't it just amazing? And look how fashionable your babies are. I don't care how fashionable they look. I'm not ready for twins. I cannot do this. I, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry, I don't think I understand. What do you mean you gotta go? Hey, wait! L lady! You can't just leave your kids here. This isn't a daycare. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Um, excuse me, uh, did someone just abandon these kids? You're Heather! THE Heather! Um, yes, that's me. Oh my gosh, you're like a huge celebrity! <laughs> yes, I've been an actress all my life, but um, if somebody abandoned them, I can take care of these cute little babies. Yeah, that would actually be great! Let me go grab some adoption papers from in the hospital. <sighs> Sounds good. Oh man, Ricky, today has been a crazy day, huh? Well, why do you think that? Well, all those people that were around us earlier asking for our autographs and stuff, it was weird. I mean, I barely know how to write. 
Really? You, you think it's weird? I, I love it. I love when people recognize me and, 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 and want to talk to me. It makes me feel great. Wait, really? You do? Yeah, like everyone in the world knowing who I am. Everywhere I go, someone knows my name. And, and I think it's great. I think you should see it that way too. Yeah, I guess it is kind of cool. Yeah, and besides, Ricky, we're like obviously the most talented kids ever. Hey, I know you guys. We go to the same school, don't we? Yeah, you're Walter, right? Yeah. Do you guys want to hang out? Maybe we can go use the swings or something. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll meet you over there. Uh, okay, sure. But James, what's going on? That kid, he's kind of boring. I don't think that we should be around him. He's not famous at all. Well, he seems really nice and I think we need to make friends. We barely have any friends besides, well, you and me. Ricky, that's because we're obviously the most talented people in the industry. And if you keep wasting your time on these boring people that won't help us at all, you'll never change. And you're always going to be the same boring person, just like the rest of them. Well, I don't want to be boring. Then that's why you need to listen to me, okay? We can't be wasting our valuable time on these people. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. <laughs> Dude, those paparazzi are crazy. Yeah, I think it's super cool though. We're gonna be all over the blogs. Yeah, but they were just kind of out of control. I don't know, I was kind of scared. Well, you're both correct. This lifestyle can be very fun, but it can be dangerous, all right? So you just need to be careful. Heather, Heather, please, I've got a few questions. Excuse me, this is our property. Please leave right away or I will call security. Heather, please, just a couple questions. You and your twin boys, Ricky and James, are the hottest celebrities right now. Please, just a couple questions. <sighs> Fine. Well, what are you doing? I said that if you wouldn't get off our property, I would call security, and that's what I'm doing. Very sorry, Heather, very sorry. Just another picture before I go. All right, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Now that, boys, is an example of how to deal with it, all right? Don't ever let them get their way. You are still a human, all right? And know that. Yes, Mom. Shoot, I think I blinked in the picture. Whoa, James, look. It's that playground Mom used to take us when we were little. Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I'm just glad that we can finally relax. That shoot was so long, I can't believe it took all day. And we just get to hang out, just you and me now. I actually didn't mind the shoot. I love when people take pictures of me. Yeah, I know you do. But come on, let's check this out. I wonder where all the other kids are. There just doesn't seem to be anybody around. Which is weird too, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, did you see my new TikTok already has a million views? Uh, no, I haven't looked. What do you think? Maybe we should just hang out here. You know, kind of like old times. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was just uh, replying to a comment. So, is that what you want to do? Just reply to all your comments? Well, yeah, I mean, we're famous, right? It's just part of the job. Yeah, I guess. All right, you go do that. I'm going to hang out at the playground. Oh, man, this burger looks so good. My agents got me on this crazy strict diet for the movie coming up, but... I think I can cheat a little bit, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, hey you, aren't, aren't you Ricky? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me, hi. Uh, are you a fan? Uh, I wouldn't say that, I saw you in the movie The Apple Fighter, cause green's my favorite color and I thought I'd give it a watch. And I, uh, I thought you were the worst actor, I thought your performance ruined the movie for me. Wow, um, I worked super hard on that role and I thought I did really well. Sorry you didn't like it. But if you wouldn't mind, I just kind of want to be alone and enjoy my lunch. Yeah, well, uh, besides you needing to take acting lessons, I also think that you're just fat and stupid. Maybe you should not eat that burger. It's going to make your gut even worse. Seriously? You don't even know me. You can't come up to me and just call me fat. Well, you're fat. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, that guy was a jerk. Yo, Ricky, I caught that entire thing on camera. Wait, you did? So you saw that guy being a total jerk to me, huh? 
Yeah, sure. More like I saw you yelling at a fan. What? I didn't yell at him at all. That guy was just being mean. You paparazzi are all the same. Yeah, whatever you say. Listen, dude, just please don't post anything about that, okay? Oh, you don't want me to post anything, huh? Well, what's in it for me? Uh, the fact that you're helping out a celebrity? I think that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> you think I care? I want money, pal. All right, fine. If I give you some money, you're not going to post anything, right? Listen, man, this is my job, and this is how I make my money. So if you don't want me to post it, you need to pay me back for it. All right, fine. Here, a couple thousand dollars work for you? <laughs> this is perfect. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. Celebrity twin Ricky absolutely screamed his lungs out at a fan. You can see here in the footage, this poor fan just wanted a nice autograph and Ricky lays into him. I can't believe this huge celebrity is rude to his fans. What? That didn't happen. And that guy said he wasn't gonna post anything. Oh, I can't believe this. I don't wanna be famous anymore. I don't want this life. Oh, I just can't figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight. We've got that big red carpet event. What am I gonna do? I don't know, dude. Wear some Supreme or something. Yo, yeah, but I feel like I've been wearing that a lot lately. Oh, I don't know. Ricky, James, it's nice to see you. Hey, Juno, what's up? <sighs> Nothing much, but I wanted to invite you both to a party I'm hosting. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, we'd love to go. Yeah, when is it? It's tonight and only influencers are going. We're gonna have so many people there. It's gonna be crazy and I'm sure there's gonna be some drama. Wow, that sounds great. We'll be there. Yeah, I'd love to go, but I actually have some assignments for school. I should probably get those done. <sighs> Ricky, of course, you're gonna be a loser again. <sighs> you know what, James? You should just come to my party instead, okay? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be there. All right, ta-ta, boys. Mwah. Later, Juno. Man, she's awesome. She called me a loser. Are you kidding? Well, why didn't you just go to the party? Is school really more important? I mean, it's not gonna matter. You're famous. Ugh, I can't believe this. Dude, wait, where are you going? I'm walking away from you. What? Why? What's the matter with you? Because you didn't stand up for me back there, dude. She straight up called me a loser to my face because I wanted to do schoolwork. And then you just didn't say anything. You're my brother. You're supposed to stick up for me. Oh my gosh, dude. Grow up. We're in the real world now. I know if someone called you a loser, I'd tell that other person to shut up. You're being such a baby, dude. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Mom, can I talk to you real quick? Ricky, what's the matter? What happened? James, he's acting like a total jerk, like he's too good for me now and stuff. <sighs> Brothers fight, that's just to be expected. But what happened? I just get the feeling like he doesn't care about me as much as he cares about being a famous celebrity. He's all about his fancy clothes and cool parties and fast cars. And he just doesn't get that I don't care about that stuff. Ricky, your life is nowhere near normal at all, and you guys are very famous, and yes, that does stem from me, and I'm sorry, but it is something you'll have to get used to, and maybe you're taking a bit longer to get used to it? I just don't care about all this stuff, the fancy clothes and whatever else comes with it. Ricky, I'm sorry, but this is your life. You're gonna have to get used to it. Yeah, well, not if I have anything to do about it. Ricky, don't... <sighs> Goodbye, designer clothes. Goodbye, fancy stuff. I don't need it anyway. I'm just gonna be normal. Just the way I'm supposed to be. Man, where is Ricky? He was supposed to be here like an hour ago. James, where is famous brother? I don't know. He should have been here by now. I'm sorry. I get paid by the hour. I am famous photographer. I am supposed to take pictures of famous twins. There is no twins. There is only one. 
Okay, well, if you're being paid by the hour, you shouldn't mind waiting a few more minutes. You twins, unprofessional. Hey, I'm uh, really sorry I'm late. What is this? What you wearing? Uh, they're just my clothes, that's all. No, this is not right. No, no, that's it. I'm out of here. I cannot take this. Ricky, what are you doing? Nothing. I was just coming to the photo shoot, that's all. Yeah, well, you were super late, and then you show up wearing these horrible clothes? Mom's gonna be so mad at you. Okay, fine. If mom grounds me or something, I don't really care. I just want to be treated like a normal person. Why do you want to be treated like a normal person? Being famous is awesome. No, it's actually not everything, James. Maybe if you got your head out of the bank account mom puts money in for you, you'd understand. Whoa, are you serious, dude? You're gonna stoop that low? You really think that of me? Dude, you haven't been acting like my brother for a long time. I don't know what to think of you anymore. Get over yourself, dude. I'm gonna go to that party tonight and make sure that our reputation isn't ruined by you. Oh yeah? I think I'm gonna go to the party too. Don't show up, dude. Especially not looking like that. Hey, Juno, what's up? Oh, hi, James. I knew it was you with how fast and crazy you were driving. Yeah, gotta dodge the paparazzi. Am I right? <laughs> totally. Ugh, you're so wild. And that car is so sick. Thanks. Yeah, it was only $300,000. Wow, that was really cheap. Well, I have a more expensive car at home. This is just my casual car. Oh, I would love to see the other one someday. Oh my gosh, James, hi. James, I'm a big fan. Can, can I get your autograph? Yeah, of course. Who should I make it out to? Just make it out to Stuart, please. Okay, here you go, dude. Have a nice day. James touched this piece of paper and he signed it. Oh my gosh. And in person, I have to say, your hair looks so, so much better than real life. Wow, can, can I touch it, please? Uh, no, dude. Step away from me. Oh, 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 oh I'm so sorry. What a weirdo. Wow, you handled that so well. You're famous and strong. You know, I wasn't going to say this because I didn't think you were good enough, but do you maybe want to, like, go out with me or something? Yeah, that sounds lovely. Cool, let's take a photo for the Instagram. Yeah, this town is certainly lonely. I wish I was hanging out with James, but he's been acting like a total jerk. I don't want to be anywhere near him. I just don't know why he's acting like this towards me. Hey kid, you look sad. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, no. I'm just really stuck in my head, you know? I just don't know what I'm gonna do. What you're gonna do with what? Oh, well, with my brother and my family, to be honest. They're all just obsessed with how famous they are and how much money they have. There's only one happiness in life. It's to love and to be loved. Yeah, that's what I think too. All the money and fame really doesn't matter. It matters about who you are and who you're with and your loved ones, right? Exactly. Hey, thanks. You know, it's actually really nice talking to you. Yeah, it was nice talking to you too. It honestly gets pretty lonely out here. Are you homeless? Do you live out here? Yeah, I've been on the streets for a while now. Uh, you don't happen to have any spare coins on you, do you? Coins? Uh, no, I don't. But I've got this. Here, you can have it. No, no, that's too much. That's too much. No, seriously, here, take it. I don't really need to use it. Thank you so much. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna go buy a Shane Plays poster with this. That's an awesome plan. Well, I hope you enjoy it, dude. I will, thank you. Oh, I'm getting a new alert on my phone. James is out with Juno, huh? Oh, great. He decided to make a red carpet appearance without me. How nice. Can't believe he'd do that. And her, with all people? She's really not nice. I gotta go talk to James. Tag, you're it. No, get back here. Hey, James, can I tell you something? Yeah, what's up, Ricky? Mom says we're gonna be really famous and I'm kinda scared. I don't know what to do. 
Hey, don't worry about it. You'll always have me by your side, and whatever happens, we'll face it together. Yeah, twin brothers forever, right? Right. Uh, James, hello, James. Uh, what? Uh, what's wrong with you? Are you good? People are starting to give us a weird look. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about Ricky, that's all. Um, well, you should be thinking about me. I'm your girlfriend now. And look at all the people that are taking our photos. We're gonna be on the cover of every magazine for the next week. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just wondering if maybe I should check up on him. Hey, James! Ricky! Hey! Well, I can't believe you totally replaced me, huh? Don't need your twin brother anymore now that you've got some super famous girlfriend, huh? Dude, Ricky, now isn't the best time. There's a bunch of people around. Well, when is it gonna be a good time, James? Later, okay? Just not right here. Who cares about what's going on here? You're supposed to be my brother, and I need to talk to you. I can't believe you just stooped to the level of every other dumb celebrity who cares about fame and fortune and everything that doesn't matter. Dude, you're freaking out. Calm down. Stop acting like a loser. Don't call me a loser! Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't believe James is such a jerk. James, you're my best friend. You're my best friend, and I'll always be there. Really? Are you sure? You've changed, James. You've changed a lot. Ricky, everything will be okay. You don't need to be scared. Are you sure? Scared I'm gonna lose you forever. That'll never happen. Everything will be okay. You just need to wake up. W wake up? Yeah, wake up, Ricky. Oh, oh man, what's, what's going on? James? Oh my gosh, you're okay. Well, what happened? You got in a little car accident, but everything's okay now. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just, just so upset I wasn't paying attention. Listen, I'm sorry. I should have remembered that family always comes first. Like I said, I will always be here for you, brother. I was scared. I just thought you were changing and you didn't like me anymore. And we weren't going to be brothers or close like we used to be. Of course not. I changed and I'll keep changing, but I'm always gonna be your brother. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Well, you'll feel better once the ambulance comes. They'll be here soon. Leo over here, please! Just one picture, man, come on! No, leave me alone! Ugh. Hey, watch where you're walking, idiot! Sorry, <sighs> I need somewhere to hide. I'm gonna get that picture, Leo. I'm gonna be rich. What is happening? Did I become famous overnight? Oh my gosh, you're Leo Mills! Ah, can I get a picture, please? Uh, no, sorry, I gotta go. No, come back, I want a selfie! We are outside the school of the two most famous kids in the world! Oh man, I need to catch my breath. What the heck is going on? Oh no, I'm gonna be late! Look, there he is! Leo! Leo, you look great, man! That's right, ladies and gentlemen! Leo Mills is now finally at school! Leo, what are your thoughts on the newest Shane Plays 2 movie? <sighs> Man. Leo, dude, we made it, man. We did it. Did what? Aiden, what's happening? Remember that YouTube video we made last summer? It finally went viral. We're famous now. Seriously? Wow. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, man. Just wait until you see this. Yo, Leo, Aiden, you guys rock. Everyone, shut up. Shut up. About time you two decided to come to class. You're late. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Reeds. And now you're causing a scene. Just because you two became famous overnight, that doesn't mean anything. You two have detention. Now sit down. Look, Leo, everyone loves us now. This is so sick. I know. This is going to change our lives forever. Uh, hey, Leo, happy birthday, man. Thanks, Brody, and thanks for coming to my party. Yeah, obviously, we're best friends, man. I can't believe that there are so many celebrities here. Leo, there you are, about 
time. Listen, stop talking to this nobody. Come on, I've got someone you need to meet with. Uh, all right, Jace. Brody, I'll be right back. I believe you two know each other. Aiden, what are you doing here? Well, actually, I represent both of you, and I want you two to start working together on an ad campaign. This is gonna be a huge deal. Yeah, we're talking like millions of dollars, Leo. And plus, you two are the biggest celebrity friends ever. It's a match made in heaven. Why do you say that? We haven't spoken in five years. Look, we can pretend to be friends, okay? It's just for the media. All I care about is that I get paid more. Let me go make some phone calls. I'll be right back. Seriously, I don't even know why Jace wants you in on this ad campaign. It must be so nice to be so famous for doing absolutely nothing. Oh, why are you acting like this, Aiden? Because you became famous overnight and you took the spotlight away from me. We were sharing it. Yeah, but it was supposed to be all mine. And that's why I stopped being friends with you. Because I'm not friends with losers. Hey, Leo, there you are, man. Dude, did you see that Ariana Grande's here too? Do you think you can introduce me? Yeah, about that, Brody. Let's just get out of here. Let's go do something more normal. All right, man, sure. Yo, dude, did you just see that kickflip I did? Yeah, Brody, it was really cool. Leo, dude, what is wrong, man? It's your birthday. You've been a total downer. Well, I was just thinking about what Aiden said, how I got famous for nothing. Well, you know that's not true. You were in that video just as much as Aiden was. All that fame just turned him into a jerk. I just feel like I should do something else. You should just do something that makes you feel happy. Well, being a normal person is what makes me the happiest. Sadly, man, that's not an option anymore. You're like one of the most famous people in the world right now. You know, Brody, that gives me an idea, actually. What are you thinking? Maybe I should write a book. A book about what it's like to have your whole life change overnight. Yo, that actually sounds like a great idea. Oh, uh, Brody, Brody, there you are. I heard something about a book. What's it going to be about? What's your favorite color? And who's this loser with you? Uh, dude, maybe we should go somewhere else. I think you're right. Leo, please don't walk away. Way. Just like five, maybe ten pictures. That's all I need. Brody, we gotta run. Right behind you. Leo, please stop. Stop. Dad, can I talk to you for a bit? You got ten minutes, Leo. What do you want? I don't think I want to be famous anymore. <laughs> what, you don't want to be famous? That's ridiculous. I feel like I'm famous for no reason. Yeah, and now you are famous. You don't really have an option not to be. Well, I mean, I could change my name, or I could quit doing photo shoots and going to movie premieres and- Are you out of your mind there is no way you can quit all those things you should be more grateful it's not that i'm not grateful it's just that being famous really did change everything for the better now what was this you were talking about writing a book i was just thinking you know it'd be something i could do it's something you could do to waste your time you need to just enjoy being famous and let me jay blitz your agent do all the work for you now speaking of work we've got to go start that ad campaign come on leo chop chop let's go you have got to be kidding me. He has more lines than me? Sorry, Aiden. I didn't write the script. That's Aiden Watts to you. I can't believe you're my agent. You're the worst. I want more lines. Hey, Leo, I am so excited. This is so cool. I've never been on a set before. Yeah, of course. Thanks for being here to support me. Duh, man. Thank you for inviting me. Um, hold on a second. Security, a loser fan has broken onto the set. We need him removed. Aiden, what are you doing? You know him. This is Brody. He's my friend. We all used to be friends, actually. I don't remember this idiot. He's not allowed in here. This is a closed set. Well, I invited him. So yeah, he is allowed to be here. All right, boys, boys, calm down, okay? We're here doing an ad campaign. This is supposed to be fun. Well, I'm not having fun. This fake celebrity is bringing stupid fans in the set. And he's got more lines than me. He's going to get all the attention. And if I don't get what I want, I'm walking off set. Maybe I should just leave. Aiden, you're being ridiculous. You need to stop acting like a jerk, especially when we're supposed to be acting like friends. All right, boys, enough, okay? Look, it's time we start filming that ad. Now let's get on set. Oh my gosh, Leo Mills, I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. You're so cool. Thanks so much. You're pretty cool too. Your posts on social media are so funny. When I'm having a bad day, they make my day so much brighter. I just wanted to come over and say hi. Thanks again. It was nice to meet you. That must feel super nice, having people come up and say things like that. Honestly, it does. But hey, I'm sorry for what happened on set. Aiden was just being a spoiled brat. Once Aiden became famous, he just completely changed. I guess that's really why we're not friends anymore. 
anymore. I just wish things could go back to the way they were. Yeah, man, some things changed for the worse, but what changed for the better? You make people's day incredible just by being you. Well, it's really not easy at all, but it does come with its perks. Actually, about those perks. I want you to come with me to the ad launch party. All right, dude, I'll go with you. Man, this party's insane. I'm glad you're having a good time. Well, there you are. Come on, we've got promo pictures for the party we need to take. And what is this loser doing here? Leo invited me, man. Chill out. Ugh, I guess they just let anyone into these parties, especially poor, pathetic losers like you, Brody. Cut it out, Aiden. Or what are you going to do about it, Leo? I'm Aiden Watts. I'm a world-famous celebrity. You can't tell me what to do. You see, this is what I'm talking about. You're just being a jerk for no reason. You know what, Leo? I'm just so sick of you. I'm going to ruin you. I'm going to become more famous than Leo. Just wait and see. I just want you to leave us alone. Oh, yeah, well, what are you going to do about it, huh? Ugh. Hey, you're out of control. And this is exactly why I don't want to be friends with you ever again. Keep your hands off of me. You are done. I want you out of this launch party right now. I'm going to get Jay Blitz over here and he's going to kick you out. You know, Brody, you were right. We shouldn't have come to this party at all. Just go. <laughs> because I have everything I need to bring you. Can you explain to me right now what's going on all over the news? Oh, no. Aiden is tweeting about this non-stop, saying that you attacked him at the launch party. Look, I can explain. Aiden was being a jerk, and I was just defending Brody. Ugh, again with this Brody person. You need to ditch this loser, okay? He's broke. He's not famous. He doesn't bring you any value. He seems to be the problem. I'm not going to ditch my best friend. Aiden's the one with the problem. Honestly, Aiden is uh kind of scary. But you're his agent. It's your job. Look, I'll do some phone calls. I'll... I'll try to do some damage control, okay? I'll be honest, Leo. I didn't think you started this fight, but this is not good. I know it's not good, but I'm not going to stop being friends with Brody. That's crazy. I can see you're not really happy. All this fame stuff is really getting to you, isn't it? Yeah, Dad. I'm not happy. I got famous overnight, and then my whole world turned upside down. I'm not sure what I want to do. At the end of the day, you'll figure it out and make the right decision. I trust you, Leo. Aiden, will you please just listen to me? No, I'm done listening. I am not working with Leo, and that is final. You're either going to represent him or me. That is not fair. You two are both my biggest celebrity clients. Well, you have to make a choice. I'm going to be in my dressing room, and when I see you, you better come to me with a better contract and more money. Oh, uh, hey, Leo. Look, uh, I got some really bad news. The ad company is pulling you from the campaign after what you did. They said you were a liability, and they don't really want to put out ads with uh, a bully in it. You know what? I don't care. I'm proud of it. I wouldn't have changed anything. I tried to do as much damage control as I could, but... Everyone's starting to believe Aiden over you. Well, I know the truth. I know that I was sticking up for my friend, so that's all that matters to me. That's good for you. None of that matters to me. I can't represent you anymore. Look, it was nice working with you. Uh, maybe you should find someone else to be your agent. You know what? It's time to take my life back in my own hands. No, no, no. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. Ugh. Yo, Leo, there you are, man. What are you doing? I'm just working on the book we talked about a while ago. Oh, that's sick. Are you okay, though? You look kind of mad. Well, I thought I was okay. I'm becoming less famous by the day now. So technically, I should be happy. But now I kind of miss it. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's pretty cool to be famous. Well, I miss all the good things. I miss making my fans happy. I know, man. But don't worry. You'll figure it all out. And if you need me for anything, I'm here for you. Thanks, Brody. You've been there since the beginning. I really appreciate it. I appreciate that. And I'm always gonna be your friend. Unlike Aiden. Just thinking about him gets me so mad. I think we should get back at him. Teach him a lesson. Whoa, Brody. You are my best friend, and Aiden messed with you. I'm not gonna let that slide. Well, how are we gonna teach him a lesson then? I know exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah, the ad is so much better now that it's just me. There he is. Aiden, hey! What are you doing here? Why are you even talking to me? Well, I just wanted to congratulate you. Great job with the ad. Well, yeah, of course. It was just me. The way it should have been from the start. Look, what are you doing here? You weren't invited. Are you the reason that I got pulled from the ad campaign? Yeah, of course I was. I wanted nothing to do with you. So I picked a fight with you, and I sent out the part where you pushed me to the media, completely ruining you. 
And you were the one that spread all those rumors about me too, weren't you? Yeah, of course I was. That you're rude to your fans and other celebrities. Oh, that one was so funny. Aiden, I just can't believe you. We really were friends. And then you became famous and everything changed. You realize fame isn't everything, right? And you realize that's where you're wrong, don't you, Leo? Fame is everything. You don't know the first thing about being a celebrity. I want you to get out of this party. I'm gonna go get security. Did you get all that? I got every bit, man. Aiden Watts is gonna get a taste of his own medicine. I read the leaked manuscript for your book online like five times. I love it. It's so good. Here, let me sign this for you. Wow, thank you so much. I'm gonna keep reading this book. It's really changed my life. Well, I'm really happy for you, man. Thanks so much for being here, and thank you so much for supporting the book. Yo, dude, I've just been reading. Is this character Brian supposed to be me? Well, of course it is. You're my best friend. Oh, wow, I'm in the book. That's so cool. Leo, I need to talk to you right now. Oh, Aiden, how can I help you? You can help me by explaining to me why you got me canceled. That video got out of me yelling at you at the party, and now this book too? Everyone's thinking it's about us. It's because it is about us. The guy in the book is not me at all. He's some selfish jerk. Aiden, have you tried looking in a mirror? You are so dumb. Now you're more famous than ever. This isn't how it was supposed to go. Being famous doesn't matter, Aiden. Having real friends that don't care about how much money you have is the most important thing. Well, thanks to you, now I'm gonna have nothing. You can just thank yourself for all that. You did it all, man. We just showed the world the truth. I hate the two of you! Well, I guess he really learned his lesson. Why don't we get out of here? You can drive the car. Whoa, wait, really? Yeah, dude, let's go!